Hey everybody, welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13. Wow, wasn't that last episode epic? I mean, oh my god, look at all this debris and dead people and dead animals we've got down here. The freaking raiders. We've even got a uh, prison break, actually. You know what? Fair play to you, Poppy. I'm gonna let you leave. Because the reason is, you might think I'm a bit crazy, but the reason is we've got six people with malaria. Sun, Skippy, Hobo, Ash and Crow, uh, Aoi, and Lucky. You've all been unlucky enough <laughs> to get, uh, yeah, to get malaria. Now, Poppy, I'm pretty sure we don't really want her back too much. Although she yeah, would probably be a good character. Um, I say fair play to you, Poppy. You run for freedom. We've got more pressing things to do. We need to, first of all, see what blocks we have available. We got sandstone. Good, good. Now, I haven't played this in a long time. Um, so yeah, we need to work out some way of defending our base now because the enemy are freely mining their way through. Now, what I've put here is a couple of little sandstone deadfall traps to perhaps prevent a little bit of them coming through. Uh, we can perhaps injure them a tad if they come through. Um, let me see. Oh dear, you can configure. Okay, cool. Uh, William Interman, you're busy cremating. Good man. You're, you're not injured at all, which is really good. So the thing we're having to deal with is that we have a lack of cooks and a lack of constructors. So I've kind of reallocated some people. Sun and Flare, Mr. Pin, Skippy and Elfwin are constructing. Minus the ones who are uh, with malaria. Uh, and then we've got some cooks who are Mr. Pin, Oz... Aoi, Elfwin, and Camino. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased actually William's cleaning up the place because having all these dead bodies around is not good. We did lose some animals, unfortunately, in the raid. So you can see a dead muffalo there. Notorious is dead, and that has caused uh, Hobo to be slightly unhappy. Actually, Prancer is the one that's caused you unhappiness. But there we go. All right, let me just have a little look at the malaria issue here. So immunity is already quite high, 67%. Uh, we haven't, unfortunately, got uh, medical beds for everybody. Now, Oz has been saying that we should get Ashen Crow to dedicate his body to medical uh, medical science and perhaps take off his legs and give them to Aoi. I'm really I'm willing to do that until Ashen Crow's had his say. I don't think that's fair. Um, so, Ashen Crow, this is a call out to you, mate. If you decide that you should uh, be uh, giving your body parts to the other colonists, then that's fair enough. But if you don't decide that, then I won't force you. I don't think uh, that's a good good idea. Okay, now let's do a little bit more mining over here. We've got some loads of plasteel over there. William Interman is still trying to recruit this West person. I think maybe... Oh, she, she's optimistic but neurotic. I really want to keep her. I was going to say let's let her go, but... Mm, 94 recruitment difficulty. She is going to be difficult, but we do need as many colonists as we can get. So, yeah, I'm going to keep her. There we go. Elfwind's chopping up a giant muffalo and producing loads of meals. Now, I know Oz voiced his concerns about the TV not being in the right place uh, or the seats not being in the right place to enjoy the this giant mega screen TV that we got. But you can see when you click on the mega screen TV that you get a little box that shows how far the sort of the viewing pleasure can be gained from it. So I've got my chairs right in, almost in the center there of where it can be viewed from. So that's not really an issue. Um, what else is going on? There we go, Mr. Pin. What are you making a meal of? Husky meat. Oh dear, that's probably Prancer. Hey, we got another little uh, sculpture here. Normal quality. And we got a poor one here. Hopefully we'll get a trader come along at some point. There's a combat supplier apparently, but no, I think that we dealt with that before. Like I say, I'm coming back to the game after a fair while away. Um, really what's taken up my time at the moment is Total War Warhammer. If you haven't seen my videos of that, I recommend going to, going to have a look. They are awesome. I freaking love that game so much. I'm currently doing an Empire playthrough, which are like the humans of the Warhammer universe. But uh, I'm also planning on playing like the dwarves maybe next. Ah, yeah, cool. They're making these hospital beds. How much medicine have we got? Eight left. Oh no, there's eight and there's 47 there. They could definitely complete these medical beds. Brilliant! Alright, how are you guys doing in there, Skippy? Let's have a little look at Skippy. 74% immunity. Should 
happen soon that you'll become fully immune. Elfwin, you're alright. Apart from missing an eye, obviously that is going to cause some concern. There's loads of weapons here as well. Oh, we got a prison break. West is trying to break out. Oh my god, she's picked up a shotgun. <laughs> Mr. Pin, attack her. She's going to kill her dog? What the hell? Mr. Pin, release the hounds. There we go, the dog's on the move. Hey, he's trying to kill our bloody chicken. And he did kill our chicken. Or she, female elite mercenary. Okay, good luck with that, Mr. Pin. <laughs> Engage her in mortal combat, my man. She should go down with uh, when fighting a dog and Mr. Pin. I would think she can't survive this onslaught, surely. Oh, she's putting up a good, good, uh, good fist of things. There you go, Mr. Pin. We should have released it when we had the chance. Prioritize chatting. Yeah, chat to her mate and say, Oi, what do you think you're playing at, you stupid mug? Get out of here. I don't know how you're chatting to her personally, but there we are. <laughs> oh, the dog's just lying there. Dog, get to the bed. Mr. Pin failed to recruit West. Yeah, I'm not surprised. She's uh, she's in prison break mode. Hey, I wonder if these, pr these uh, raiders have got anything good that we can steal. Personal shield? My glasses are slipping down my face. It's so hot here in Sweden. And like we live near the ocean up in northeast of Sweden and it's like oh, I'm sweating like a pig. And I got new glasses. To check out a photo of me on Twitter if you want. Um got new glasses which are like the big black plastic frames. And they're making my face sweat like a boss. That's it, look at it. Look at everyone keeping busy. Brilliant. Let's have a little uh, sample check of how everyone's doing. 79% immune, 80, 80, ah, Hobo's got uh, malaria as well, 79%, he's actually doing fine, up there in just his bedroom without one of these vital monitors next to him, or a hospital bed, the man's a brute, do you know what, I wonder if we need more batteries, because I've heard somewhere that once your batteries get full like they are now, then it's, you're more likely to have that zzz thing in a short circuit, but I may be wrong on that front. I did get some comments as well about building geothermal generators, but I think they were the person who was watching it was a lot earlier on in the series, so there you go, mate. We've now got them. What's this? Dead tortoise. Rotting dead tortoise. I'm really concerned about our steel, because pretty soon we're going to run out. And I'm worried about this. There's a big hole in our base that no one seems to be repairing. I guess they're prioritising looking after the troops and building the medical beds. Right, Lucky, we've now got another medical bed. Why don't you jump in there, mate? And uh, hang out with your friends. Oh, we need some more vitals monitors in there as well, actually. Oh no, I think I read that I'm doing the vitals monitor thing wrong. I think they have a little line and one vitals monitor can look after like three medical beds. So I might be wrong. I might try that in here, actually. Actually, let's cancel that. If I reinstall it, let's say there, and then see if that looks after all three beds. I'll be kind of curious to see if that works or not. Um, yeah, our mining operations have ceased. I'm really hoping we'll find some more steel up here. To be honest, there's a huge, massive mountain which our base is built into, which you would think would uh, provide us with ample steel, but you never know. Why can't we rescue this dog? I wonder where our animals are restricted to. Ah, they're restricted to bug fighters. We better put them back on their animal area. There you go, doggy. You're free to go. Oh no, an eclipse. Oh, and everyone's starving as well because I've kept them chained up in this area. There you go, the wog's on the move now. He's like, screw you, I'm going to get food. You should have let me at them dead bodies. <laughs> Poor old wog. Actually, we need to change the wog, don't we? So he can roam anywhere. Uh, oh, shizzle! Another infestation! Oh, God. One in our entertainment room, although that's really small. Uh, oh, Jesus. A load up here again. I wonder what causes the infestations. Can anyone see any more? Am I, am I missing more? Or is that it? Hmm. Okay. Right, we're going to have to arm the troops then. We'll get Flair and William and Camino. That's a nice little fighting squad there. And Brony. Actually, you can take those Molotovs 
out of your hands and equip the LMG. And yeah, everyone kind of needs to leave here. So what are we dealing with in here? Two of these mega spiders. Hmm. Might be an idea to toggle that on. Uh, Oz, if you can come and turn that switch on. Maybe we can lure the uh, enemy out. Where did Brony go? Am I going blind? There's Brony. Brilliant. Alright, fighting troops. Let's get to battle. First of all, we'll have to deal with this one, I think. Um, well, we could let them just wander around. Maybe they'll eat through and eat west, but no. No, I'm not like that. <laughs> Alright, lads. Right, assemble here. Jesus, don't attack yet. That's it. Everyone, get in range. Hey, and you go right in the middle. Yeah, you want to fight about it? Come on. Don't you fail on me, people. William, run. Oh, damn it. We're going to get chewed up. Come on, people. Ah, who's my melee guys? Elfwin, isn't it? Elfwin to the rescue. Screw treating people. Get in there with your gladius. Bully them. All right, Flare, you fire at this mega spider. This is all we need while most of our colony is sick with malaria, isn't it? <laughs> hey, there's our, there's our animal. There's our wog. Our wog should kick their butt. Where's he going? Oh, yes, we killed one of them. Brilliant. Right, William, run. Get out of there. William, don't get shot by your own team. Get out of there. That's it. Brilliant. We've sorted that one out then. Right, Camino, how, how's your health? Oh dear, you've had your nose cut off. <laughs> uh, Alright, Flare, you finish off this mega spider. William, you better get to medical bed, mate. Um, right, can someone free up a bed for these guys? You're near enough cured from malaria, so that'll do me nicely. Right, Flare's firing. Brony, yeah, you've been cut to pieces, so you get to bed as well. Camino. All right, lads, you're free to go. Ah, Elfwin, yeah, you can finish off the mega spider. And there's some insect jelly for anyone who wants it. Brilliant. All right, William, where you going, mate? And Brony resting Camino. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, Elfwin, you finish off the attack, uh, the hive. Oz, we need you on med medical duty. Even though you're not the best at it, but has to be done. Right, you go and look after William. Sardin, you're free to leave. And Skippy, you better leave somewhere too. Yeah, see, they're right here, all these bugs. They could literally... Hang on, I want to toggle these on. They could literally bite through the walls to get through to our hospital. Slightly disconcerting. Flair, where are you going, son? Flicking switch. Alright, I better let you do that, I guess. Camino... Yeah, you're the one who's missing her nose. Uh, hmm, this is going to be difficult. Maybe we could do a last heroic sacrifice with Ash and Crow. Yeah, go turrets! Yeah, three turrets, alright, that's better than nothing. They'll probably blow them up, but they might get uh, injured or, or killed in the explosion. Elfwid's still cutting this up. <laughs> go on, Elfwid. That's it, good job, lad. Okay, what are we doing here? Colonist use treatment. So then, Flare has uninstalled that. Why is that? Yeah, look, there we go. They've destroyed one already. I bet they haven't taken any damage. Barely any. And the Warg's wandering around. You're going to get attacked, Warg. I bet he gets caught in the blast. Run, Warg! Yeah, that's it. My turrets are doing pretty good. I made them out of plus steel. Because uh, I thought they would last longer that way. And they are. They're actually doing quite good. Okay, how's the medical treatment go? Brony, ba da ba da ba da. Saden. All right, Saden. Okay, he's reserved. Where's everybody else? Hobo's up there. Elfwin's there. All right, Flare, you need to get to bed, dude. There you go. Now, what we were curious about is this vitals monitor. Now, I, I can't really see any little wires that are joining things. So if anyone does know how that works, please let me know. If they could, if one can look after more than uh, more than one bed, yeah, Elfwin, good man. A hobo, run, son! Ah, see, Elfwin's going mano a mano with these guys. Go on, Elfwin. 
don't think they'll kill you. So if you can get rid of these little little fellas, that will help me a little bit. There you go. I think you better run, Elfin. You ready? Run! Get out of there! Turret turns and fires. Yeah, look. The spillipede has been cut to pieces. Elfin, run! Where's Oz going? Resting. Dude, you're, you're going to be resting in a dodgy spot, mate. Come on, turret. Please don't blow up. Yes, the wog's killing this little fella. But he's going to get blown up. Oh, damn. Wog. Rear left leg shredded and rear right leg shredded. Holy crap. Camino, how you doing? You're still bleeding. Mr. Pin, wake up. Get that. Get that. Uh, what's it called? M16 to put it to good use, sir. We got bugs to kill. All right, Mr. Pin. Yeah, you can release animals as well. Come up here. Hobo. Oh, Hobo's been cut as well. Oh, but Jesus. William Enterman, Camino, Lucky, Ash and Crow. Ash and Crow's incapacitated. Oh, major malaria. I wonder if that's why. All right, Mr. Pin. Advance. You're the only man who can stand between the bugs and the rest of my colony. Go on, son. Wait up there. And if they, if you see them, shoot them. All right, Flare's replacing that. Flare, if you... Nope. You can't do that. All right, Hobo. Still bleeding. Elfwin. Bleeding like crazy as well. All right, Aoi, free up the bed. And then just run away. Lucky, if you can free up the bed as well, that would be amazing. And then Hobo, once he's finished his meal, we'll put him in the medical bed. Woo, this is intense. Yeah, go on, Mr. Pin. Yeah, that's it. Turn and shoot. This husky's going to get killed. I don't know. Mr. Pin's putting up a good fight here. Oh, look how much it's, it's been shot all over the place. Run, Pin. Get out of there. Yeah, that's it. Turn. Fire. Damn bugs. Yeah, you're pretty accurate, Pin. What's your shooting stat? Six. Hmm. Not too shabby, my liege. Not too shabby. As William? He's healing up nicely. Hobo is... Hmm. Awaiting treatment, by the looks of it. There we go, Mr. Pin. Dude, you're not doing very well, are you? Come on, hurry up. Right, time to go in and rescue Fido. We cannot allow our pets to be killed. What on earth? All right, looks like Brony's back in business. Come up here, Brony. You can help us fight off the bugs. That's it, Pin. Pin doing a hit and run rescue on Fido. Jesus Christ. Ah, cool, they're starting to build our little traps down here. Lovely, and there's a wall that's been built there. I need to build some more walls here. Make it more difficult for them to mine through. Or at least it'll give us some time to... Uh, get to protect that area, you know. It'll slow them down. Good job, Brony. Run! Quickly, run, run, run. This is a pretty good way of fighting these bugs. You just sort of run away, then turn around, shoot them again, then they follow you, run away, rinse and repeat, you know? Yes, Brony. Brilliant. We've got one more left to fight. And I think that one's already bleeding like crazy. It is, yes. Superb. Stand there and finish him. I like that weapon she's got. Yeah, we did it. All right, Brony. Let's get in here. Shoot their bug hives. When are they going to reproduce? One day, 13 hours. Brony's shooting skill, nine. Very accurate. I like it. All right, Hobo's back in business. Hobo, I want to give you your weapon back. Let's put that sniper rifle on you, I think. That's what you had before, isn't it? Okay, that's 57%. Camino, Ah, good. You're patched up. William's getting better. Elfwin's getting better. I think I've managed to get everyone treated now. Let's zoom out and have a little look. Yep. Peeps be getting healthy. Woohoo! I could make a, um, a little jelly farm out of these, but uh, uh, we're losing too many body parts fighting the bugs. I'm pretty pleased uh, with how we're doing fighting them, and I, I, I can't risk more colonists getting injured, to be honest. Hobo. Milking Newton. 
<coughs> Excuse you. Simple prosthetic leg, peg leg. Yeah, you're moving really slowly. You know what I might do? If I get... Yeah, let me see. If I get a prisoner, can I remove their legs? Harvest. Remove part. Left... Ah, that's a peg leg, though. Install peg leg. If I install a peg leg on her right leg, does that mean I'll have her other leg? I think it does. I think we could... No, I think we can only install prosthetics. You can't install full legs, can you? That's a bit of a pain in the bum. Right, brony. Ah, oh, hobo, what are you doing, mate? Watching the eclipse? Fair enough, I won't interrupt you. We've got three of them watching the eclipse. That's pretty cool. Colonist needs treatment. Say it, 97% uh, immunity. You're nearly better. So that's a good indication of how the rest of them are doing then. Oh, Camino's got food poisoning. Oh, come on, Elfin. You can get better soon. Mr. Pin. Yeah, you're cooking meals. Good man. I think we're going to be all right in terms of the malaria. Let's see. Aoi had malaria, didn't she? 97% immune. Pirate merchant. Yes, they might have limbs. <laughs> Sounds like a weird thing to be praying for, but you never know. They just might. Uh, let me see. Ah, no limbs. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, they looks like they'll buy some weapons off me, so I'll sell... Mo no, actually, just those two. We'll get rid of the shoddy charge rifle. And... Should we sell this prisoner? It'll make people unhappy, though, won't it, if I do that? But then again, the money will come in useful for new limbs. Yep, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm selling her. Oh, no, no. Whoops. <laughs> All right, come back, Mr. Pin. Let's get rid of Marine West. There you go. See you later, love. It was nice knowing you. Look at all this jelly people have got. For those who are not happy, go and get some jelly, hobo. I know it boosts, boosts their mood, so that's why I'm doing that. Where's Brony? Brony like a pony, love. Where have you gone? I've got to give you some freaking jelly. Probably looking all over at the wrong place. Can anyone see it? There she is. Oh, she's the one shooting this. Derp. Such a retard redneck. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. I think that about wraps up the episode then. It's been one of combat and uh, illnesses, pretty much. Rogan's fully healed. Yay, our warg. How's that leg? Ah, the shredded legs have been completely fixed. Wicked. All right. Well, thank you ever so much for watching, guys. Um, just a couple of notices. Um, my main series I'm focusing on right now are RimWorld Alpha 13, uh, Total War Warhammer, and what's the other one? Kerbal Space Program. Uh, and also, if anyone wants to support me on Patreon, please do so. Even $1 a month can help me immensely. I'm struggling to keep the channel alive. Um, I might need to go out and just get a full-time job, which will mean that the channel comes to an end. But uh, currently, I've received a boost in sponsorship from Alfred Skips from $10 to $25. So thanks ever so much for that, mate. Um, animal Starvation. Chick 2. Let's sort that out before I go as well. Chick 2. There you go. Animal area. Get out of there. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care. I'll see you very soon on the next episode. Bye-bye.